Hey YouTube, it's Mike here and today I'm bringing you guys my FIFA 20 review. What do I think about the game? <laughs> I think it's shit. <laughs> now, now wait, I'll be honest. Now first of all, before I be honest, for people that don't like um, someone that's hardcore, uh, vulgar, stuff like that, you may not want to watch this review. For people that don't care, stick around, watch the review. I've been honest every year about this game, okay? And... Sure, some people be like, oh, this guy is a negative guy. Fine, call me a negative guy. I'd rather be negative than be a positive guy when I play this game based on the condition of the game. Now, uh, it took me two weeks to finally decide if I wanted to make the review because I wanted to play enough games to actually give a fair review. Okay, so as you can see, I played almost like um, a little over 80 games. I haven't played, though, I haven't played a single game in uh, Weekend League, though. Um, if you look at my milestones, I played uh, Division Rivals, I played 20 games, and I played zero games in Weekend League, and I played uh, 25 games, I think, in Squad Battles. Um, and I've been playing, oh yeah, I've been playing Foot Drafts. I haven't won one yet, but I played like uh, eight entries, so about 20 something games there, 13 wins, eight losses, and so on, whatever. Uh,. The reason why I'm not playing Weekend League is because I know the servers are bad. Uh, I felt it the first day I got into the game. I already felt the sluggish part of the game. And with servers being shit because we're on dedicated servers, I knew that I was just going to get uh, a random dice every time I played. In a way of saying, oh, will I get a good connection? Oh, will I get a bad connection? So based on that, I told myself I'm not going to go into Weekend League and frustrate myself because I know I'm very competitive minded and when I want to play weekend league I want to play my 30 games and I want to have my best finish and if I go into weekend league today like for like right now I'm pretty much gonna have a stroke playing this game because um, the servers are gonna fucking kill me uh, so I don't want to have that anger in me you know um, so that's why I stayed away for at the moment and I've been sticking around with online drafts that I find that's a little bit better it's still some games are um, delayed because for some reason uh, here in North America, Canada, I get matched up a lot versus South American players. Now, I have nothing against South American players. My own mom is from Argentina, but, you know, I, I hear them talking Spanish and stuff like that. So I know they're from South America and at least most of the time and the delay is just bad. And it's just it's a bad experience of playing the game. Um I will say one thing I like about the game, and that's the objectives. I like the fact that now we could get icons for completing uh, certain milestones. I like the fact that during your seasons, you're getting packs, you're getting maybe those little stupid uh, badges that are, nobody really cares about, but whatever. I like that. It actually gives you a reason to play the game. Okay? Uh, I like that part. Now, me, I'm a big trader. Uh, I'm not a big trader like uh, the big boys, but... I like to trade. I like to make my coins like that. As you can see, I actually so far uh, made. I have a couple of guys that make a lot of money here, but I've made almost 700k uh, just by doing foot drafts, by trading on the market, by doing SBCs, and so on. Okay, so that's that's the way I play the game. Until I feel uh, the servers are better. What do I think about the game itself? I feel that the gameplay is better than last year. Of course, I don't like the new meta of the drop back thing. Personally, I find people that play drop back are mostly weaker opponents. I'm sorry to say. I don't want to insult people, but it's the honest truth. For people that play drop back, is people usually people that are not confident in their game and... They just basically play drop back because people that are actually really good at the game, you're going to see them. They're going to actually play very offensively. They're going to take control of the game. They're going to play playing possession. You know, they're going to, they know, they know how to play the game correctly. They know how to like advance and play people that play drop back. Uh, I'm sorry because people, they, they watch other YouTubers about drop back and stuff like that. And then they, they, they all want to join the meta and they all think they're going to do better. At the end of the day, they're playing and they're playing a boring uh, strategy and they're probably not even getting better results to be honest with you they're probably still stuck in 
you know, either silver or gold three in weekend league, and they're just having a whatever. Do whatever you guys want. Play, play drop back. I don't care. At the end of the day, um, I feel like the game itself has some sort of potential, but the servers are killing that potential right now because every game, every game you get into just feels like trash. Like ninety percent of the games I play, even when I'm playing squad battles, sometimes I feel heaviness. Sad to say, but I mean, I'm playing versus the fucking computer and I could feel lag just because we're playing under dedicated servers. Can you please, EA, just remove squad bottles from your dedicated servers? Like, seriously, do, do we really have to play on your dedicated servers? Oh, wait, because there's people cheating. You know what? Let people cheat, man. <laughs> I'd rather have people cheating than play on your servers. You know what else? Even division rivals, even foot champions. Remove us from your from your dedicated servers. Let's go back to peer to peer. I'd rather be fucking disconnected by somebody. I'd rather be IP booted than play on these trashy servers. Okay. Honestly, I was always against people that would cheat in this game. But you know what? Bring me back to those days because at least in those days when I was playing, the game actually felt smooth online. So I'd rather go play versus cheaters. I'd rather go into a game and waste my time and get basically disconnected at the end of the game uh, and get nothing for it then actually play on your servers right now because your servers are bad so if you're not going to upgrade your servers if you think your servers don't have an issue okay everything seems fine on your side fine remove us from the dedicated servers put us back peer to peer let us get disconnected from people let the people cheat let the people do whatever the fuck they want as long as I get into a game and uh, the it's smooth, I'm happy. I don't care. I could be winning 7-0. The guy could fucking disconnect me. IP boot me at the end of the game. I'm more happy than right now than playing your game. Okay? Like, I'm at that point. I'm actually at the point where I'd rather be disconnected than to be uh, than playing in this fucking shit servers. Okay? EA, I think you actually made a decent product this year. I think your game actually actually has potential to be pretty good compared to the last couple of installments. But it's actually worse based on the fact that we cannot play the game because your servers are so trash. So you got two options. Okay? Either you agree with us and say maybe these guys are right, maybe it, maybe the servers are trash and they do something about it, or just put us back on peer-to-peer. -peer. Seriously. What's the problem here? We're still spending money on your game. We're still buying your game. We're still playing your game. I'd rather play versus cheaters. That's it. Let me be able to play online smoothly. That's it. That's all I want. Nothing else. And your game, I would give it a 7, maybe even 8 on 10 if you let us do that. If you don't do that, I'm not going to threaten you guys because there's no point. But I can guarantee you. If the servers stay the way they are right now, this is the second week that we're into the game. Second week. And already you frustrated 99% of the people that play this game. What do you think is going to happen in the next month? You know how many people are just going to stop playing your game completely for the rest of the year? A lot. And if, you are, if you're okay with that, fine. Be okay with that. Anyways, so my review of the game, based on the condition of the servers, I give it a 1 on 10. Because that's what the game feels like when you play right now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.